Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make a simple patch, an FM patch on a modular. And um, here it's going to sound like this when we're finished. Okay. So now I'm going to turn off the bass and the kick and come over here and we're going to work on it together. So the first thing um, that I want to show you is so basically what we're using is we're using the um, dual precision VCO from Radical um, Frequencies, which is a great um, dual oscillator. Could use any, um, anything that's a dual oscillator, but this is just a real simple one, um, straightforward, that sounds great. So I'm going to show you that. So first thing that I'm going to do, just I'm going to break the patch out just so you can, um, we can just hear what's happening directly um, from the synth. So basically what we have, so this is our output from the saw here, and it's just going into this um, oscilloscope here, and then I'm going right into the output down here. Okay, so this, it's got ex um, exponential and linear FM, and I'm running them both. So you can just play to see what it sounds like. That's with no FM, that's linear and exponential, right? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to tune the oscillator. So what I have here is I have, I'm just running the other, the first, so basically what this is, the one oscillator then gets, goes to through the other. And so this is the carrier and this is the modulator, the second one, and we're running out the modulator. So the carrier one is, is going to set the, um, the tune of it. So I'm just running this, this orange one you'll see here is going into um, the second channel. So if we now go to this and we'll just put it on to uh, tuner. And if we go over to the two, so here, now if we play with this, you'll see we can tune it. So I'm gonna tune it to an A, because that's what the bass is in. So I'm just playing with the fine tune here. All right. so now we've got our, our first oscillator tuned. So now the second oscillator, what happens here is this, changes basically it's like the ratio essentially of the exponential fm this is actually it but it's just the further apart the more ripping it'll get right so now what i'm doing is in order to get a gated sound right instead of going directly into the output here i'm going to wire it back in i'm going through this really cool little low pass gate so instead of using an oscill i mean an envelope um, like an ADSR. Basically, if you feed this different, a CV, I'm taking the gate from uh, my micro MIDI, U MIDI um, here, sorry, this U MIDI, this takes signal from the DAW, and I'm running that into the CV. So basically, different note length, right, will trigger the low pass gate. Then I'm running it into a high pass filter just to add a little bit more um, modulation there. We can play with it, but you could just run it straight out. But so, um, now, um, so if we take this, instead of going out there, we go take the output of our oscilloscope, of our, you know, tuner oscilloscope, so I just want to watch what's going on. So now if we go back to the oscilloscope, seeing the first one, and now if I take, we've got the output going into the filter, and so if I take the high pass filter here, and then now I just need to hit play on the DAW to make it uh, run. So let me do that. and turn it up. Okay. So now we're getting our pattern here and I'm using the note length and gate um, note length modified. Here, let me just show you this for a sec. So if we go over to the computer, if we come over here, I'm using the density control they're just 16th notes. And I'm using the MIDI modifiers. 
Ctrl-C here to change the value of the note length. Okay. So now back over here. Now, so what I showed you is that if we move this, we get different cool sounds. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the, um, using this, it's a sample and hold random by Instro. And I'm going to run that into the um, voltage, per, voltage per octave of this. So now if we find a thing, and then I'm using it in unipolar here, can switch it to bipolar, so you can see up and down. And so this is the amount. So every time we get a, um, a gate, a, a, a note, it's going to trigger a different value here. Quite simple. And then I'm running another one, which is doing the same thing over here to the frequency of our high pass, just to give another little modulation there. And this is the SSF RAND step. So also taking, just split out the clock from the trigger here. Okay. So triggering it. And then, so now what we can do is find our little sweet spot here. So I'm going to put it back to unipolar. So it's only going to go higher than that. Let's add a little bit of linear to Okay, now I'm going to make the density a little bit less here. I mean more, so you hear more notes coming through. So I'm putting the density at like 77, 80% now. See? So that's going to be too high if we put the amount down a little bit and switch. See, I kind of just like it going higher. Gives that nice... Feel. So very cool, huh? And this pitch doesn't matter because it's just a tone, a timbre kind of. And you can play with different. So just like the range we kind of get down here. If we put this a little bit lower then, we're going to get a little bit more range. And then put the sample and hold amount higher. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record a sample of this. Um, so then we can put it into the track and, and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to um, hit record on Cubase over here. And here, let me show you. So back over in Cubase, now I'm gonna record one take. All right, so that'll be enough. This is just a take here that I did before. So now the one thing I want to show you is, um, so I'm going to just move this down to another channel so we're not messing with our input there, our input channel. Turn that off and mute this for a second. So now if I come in here, the one thing I want to show you is, I, you know, there's sometimes a little bit of record latency. I have that. It's very small, but when I hit record, it just, you know, delays the recording a little bit. I have my settings in, but I just go in and I just do with it afterwards. It's really not that big of a deal. It's a little annoying if you're trying to track multiple parts at once, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. So now if I move that, actually that one might not be the best. Well, yeah, see now you see here we're, we're right on, right on the grid there. So um, now let me just move this out of the way here because I had put um, a delay here so now if we go into this channel and um play that i had just put a dub station ping pong delay 
Here I can mute everything first. And also I put a send, so I'll just mute that for a second. So now if we hear it, and we can add in the kick and the bass so you can hear. Let's make it a little louder. Okay, pretty cool. And now if we add in the dub station. Now also, I'm gonna put this one back here. I'm gonna put on the layers, lanes, I mean, show you. So I had this one or this one. And then a little bit of a reverb. Now let's hear it with some percussion. All right, so that is how you do it. Uh, pretty simple patch. But um, very cool, I like it. Now I'm gonna just come back in here to show you one more time in the synth. So just to recap, remember, it's basically just tuning the first, os sorry, tuning the first oscillator to the key, then setting using an FM to then modulate the uh, voltage, per octave, voltage per octave of the um, channel that is the, the, the carrier, I mean the modulator and using a sample and hold for that that is then tr going each time there's gates and then i'm running into a uh, low pass gate here now what we could do another way is um, you could keep it inside the box by you know instead of um look here i'll just show you that right now let me mute everything and come back in here and um just go like this so one thing we could do is if instead of going through the low pass gate we're going to go here we're going to send the signal through um, a uh, VCA instead right and then we can use this very cool thing native um, mutable instruments peaks the first one with the dead man's catch firmware so this is a random AD so now if we take Instead of taking the um, gates and, um, actually, we'll just keep everything the same. So we're going to keep the gates and stuff. But instead of doing a random gate length, I'm just going to have to make this a little bit longer. Need a longer cable. So we take the gate and we come over. It, it doesn't matter if it's a gate or trig, but we come over to this. This um, peaks and put the trigger in there. And then we will send the output of this to our CV in here. So now if we run this, and oh, I have to, okay, now I'm just going to put you turn off the density and the MIDI modifier so they're just straight notes. And then what we can do is... So this is the length here. Right? Longer. Right? And this is the attack here. And this is the decay. This is the random decay. And this is random velocity. So by putting a bit of delay, right? And then we can play with different things here.
Okay, I like that. So I'm going to take a recording of this now. And let's see what we've got over here. So let's just record. Do one loop on it in over in Ableton. I mean in Cubase. Okay. So now here, if I come back in, show you Ableton again. Oops. Show you. I mean, our Cubase. Why well, do I keep saying Ableton? So um, now again. Um, here, I'll just put it next to it here. So the same thing, we just want to go in, oops, and we just want to make sure that the first little point, we're starting where we want, and you can see, again, my record latency um, is there just slightly. So we'll just take that there, and then put it and I'm just going to, just so we have the different sections, I'm going to put it down here. Actually, we can I'll do the lanes again. Ah, no, let's just set it up. Keep going. Make a longer loop. All right. So now let's hear what happened there. Cool. And now let's hear... See, another cool way also. And then we've got, well, here, let me just put them all next to each other so we see them all. So that's the faster, more less density there. I mean, and then this is using the peaks instead of the um, uh, low pass gate. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video and um, we'll come back for more. All right.